Hey guys, good morning. It's um, Stephen here with another episode of uh, Days Out by Train. It's um, the penultimate in this uh, series, um, and we're going to be taking uh, the, um, the train from a um, train from here up to uh, Kidderminster because we're going to take a trip on the Seven Valley Railway. Okay, enjoy the video. Well, guys, we've uh, just arrived at a very wet Kidderminster. After um, two and three quarter hour journey up from uh, London's uh, Marylebone station, so um, this is the Seven Valley Railway, and this is uh, Kidderminster Town Station. Okay, guys, when well, you get on arrival, you get given this, and the Seven Valley Railway is a 16 mile stretch of uh, track that runs between Kidderminster and Bridge North. And uh, stops along the way are Bewdley, Harley, Highley, Hampton Road, and Bridge North. And uh, we get to cross the River Seven at the Victoria Bridge. Okay. Well, guys, we've just got to wait for the uh, 1025 uh, um, service. We're running the full service today. Okay. And uh, can't get rid of I can't get rid of you, can I? No, you can't. <laughs> All right. Cheeky bugger. <laughs> All right. OK, when you get to a Kidderminster town station, um, you get <coughs> this uh, ticket. <coughs> it is a um, Freedom of the Line ticket, and it, and it just gives you uh, free reign as to do what you want for the day wherever you want as well and it cost you about no, 22 pounds um, each okay Hey guys, so this is um, Arley Station and uh, we just got off here briefly because we're going to just have a wander through the village and uh, just have a look and see what the uh, village has got to offer. Okay, this is the uh, little village of Arley. Well, this is uh, the River Seven um, at Arley. Um, I just want to apologise for the weather. It could have, it could have been a bit uh, could have been a bit better, but um, the UK, like the rest of Europe, has been experiencing a heat wave um, this week, and um, it's finally de uh, the heavens uh, finally decided to open yesterday, and this is the result. It is actually raining. Okay. Well, Arley is such a. It's just one of those uh, quaint old English uh, villages, really. Um, really beautiful, really peaceful. Hey guys, we've uh, just arrived at uh, Highley. Um, 
it's a three track formation here but so so what we're going to do is we're going to go off and have a bit of lunch over over here there's a little cafe there uh, just in behind the, the trees it's called the engine house and then we'll have a look around um, the engine house uh, as well so see you in a couple of minutes well guys uh, um, I'm well and truly fed up in the, the uh, true sense of the word so um, I've just had a bit of lunch anyway so uh, let's uh, get ourselves uh, back to business and we'll have a look at some of these uh, beautiful locos Well, this wall here uh, is entitled From London to the Seven Valley Railway. And it tells the story of this locomotive here, L95. How it uh, came here from being part of uh, London Transport. This uh, locomotive here, 48773, was built as part of a war department order in 1940 for use in France. And after France uh, fell to Germany, it entered service in Britain. When the Soviet Union entered the war, the, uh, tr the engine was sent to work on the Trans-Iranian Railway, a, tr a strategic route uh, into Russia. On the 9th of August 1942, it was derailed in the desert after crashing into a camel. Later, it was shipped to Egypt uh, to work on the Suez Canal Zone, making 48773 a real ship of the desert. Back in service in the UK, it was nearly sent for scrapping on three occasions, but survived each time. It became one of the earliest engines to, uh, survive, to arrive at the Severn Valley Railway having come straight out of service and not from the scrapyard. So there's a lot of history to this um, engine. Railway. Railway is 
Well, this is the inside of a uh, mail carriage. Well, this carriage here was uh, used by King George VI, um, and it's his uh, London, Midland, and Scottish Royal Saloon. And he uh, travelled all over the country in this uh, carriage. All decked out in its uh, bunting. It's the Cambrian Coast Express. Got to get. And it's titled Hinton Manor. And this number is 7819. This uh, locomotive is called Gordon and was used uh, for military purposes. This one is called Jinty. This little beauty came from the uh, uh, Romney Harden Dimchurch Miniature Railway. This is uh, just a standard tank engine. Sorry. And this is the Lady Armagdale. Okay, guys, if you just want to go in there and check out. Another video that um, I filmed back earlier this year, then um, where, where there's uh, uh, steam locomotives, then uh, check out some of my video that I made at uh, the Steam Museum of the Great Western Railway, which I filmed back in um, uh, February, March time. Okay.
Okay guys, we've uh, just left uh, Highley Station and uh, while I was there we picked up the visitor guide um, so we're going to be uh, reading that uh, a bit later, alright? Okay guys, we've uh, just arrived at uh, Hampton Road Well, this is the station cottage at Hampton Lowe's. You've got the bridge there. Old Great Western Railway station sign. And that's the main station building up there. Okay. These are old. Uh, GWR wagons at uh, uh, here at Hampton Road. Um, as I said, if you didn't hear, um, if you didn't co quite catch what I said about um, one of my earlier videos, then um, check out the um, earlier video from the Steam Museum of the Great Western Railway in Swindon. Um, you'll be able to see uh, a few more locomotives and um, wagons uh, just like these. Okay guys, um, uh, thanks a lot sir, for watching this uh, video from the Seven Valley Railway. Um, the next and final episode of uh, Days Out by Train will be from uh, stratford upon avon We'll be uh, booking the tickets uh, for that uh, next week and uh, we'll be taking the trip itself in two weeks time. Okay, so in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. And um, uh, I can... Well now, basically I can now say that the new series that I'm going to be doing for my channel um, is going to be um, Museums of uh, London. Okay, so um, like I say, that's going to be starting uh, from uh, from September onwards. So we're really looking forward to uh, doing that. And, uh, and I'll see you in two weeks time. And straight for the Pond Haven. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>